Welcome back, party members, to some more Jack in a Castle. Last time we finished off Jack's ending, so this time we only have Sylvester's endings to get. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into it. I think to start off, we're actually going to probably try for Sylvester's bad ending. And then after that, we'll go for the good one, and uh, then maybe see what that mysterious heart ending is afterwards. So yeah, so we're just going to be kind of routing through this like usual, not doing anything too, too crazy. Uh, let's see, where should we start working? Honestly, we haven't chose clean the toilets yet. Let's see, I need to find some cleaning supplies first. I think I hear something. Okay, and then it just routes into us meeting them. Okay, perfect. So it seems like to route into Sylvester's bad ending, we do start with Bunny as our companion. And we'll just kind of do all the usual choices here that we did before. Yeah, and then we'll say that we're going to try again next time. And we're going to meet with Bunny and Sylvester. All the usual fun stuff we've been doing. But this time around, we're going to say that we want to go around with Sylvester. I'd like to go with you, Sylvester. Let us continue our search. Fine, I'll just wait here doing nothing. Excellent, we will see you later. Ah. <sighs> we have already covered this area. We must go deeper. So where to? We will advance to the next floor. Oh, we're going in. There are a lot more vines here. Hmm, looks like we are getting closer to our goal. If the vines are your goal, sure. Pardon? I mean, we're still looking for the king, right? It's not like the king is missing because he got stuck on some vines. I did not suggest that. And if he was, he'd have been stuck for months then. I said I didn't suggest that. In which case, we'll know we're getting closer when it starts smelling like rotten corpses. Why is Marion so aggro already? What? <laughs> Must you be so vulgar? That, 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 that's just what I thought. Where I'm from, we keep such thoughts to ourselves. And where are you from? Right here, the capital. <sighs> I think he just called me a mannerless country bumpkin. Right. Let's not waste any more time. My suggestion is that we follow the vines. What do you suggest? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna be kind of in the middle. I got nothing. I got nothing. Then, until you come up with something different, let's proceed with my plan. Yeah. We follow the vines for quite a while, going up and down stairs until I'm completely lost. Sylvester seems to know what he's doing, so I'm glad he is here. Even though I get this looming sense of inferiority. This... What the fu- Please, Marion. Fantastical door this is. So weird. It most certainly is. Whatever is inside must be the cause of all these vines. Huh. What is it? Do you hear that? No. I don't hear anything out of the usual. It is almost like lamentation. Whatever that sounds like. What a sad tune. Right. I don't think Sylvester is hearing things. He probably just has better ears than me. We must find a way to open this door. You know what we must do? We must fight the door with fire. Let's set it on fire. You will not set fire to anything. But... Whatever is in there would be trapped inside. Do you want to quite possibly burn down our only clues to finding the king? Or even the castle itself and us? Aren't you made of wood of all things? Yes. What a thing to suggest. I can't believe you. It was a joke. Was it? Um, ha. Ah. Let's take a moment to think about this. All right. Even though I try, I just don't have any ideas. Soon my mind stops trying and starts wandering about. Oh, I wonder how Bunny is doing. <sighs> ah, crap, I fell asleep. Marion? Oh, crap. Could you... H hello there. Who are you? I accidentally sleepwalked in here. Honest. Intruder! Guards! Oh, <laughs> Buddy is forever doomed to being captured by the guards. What's wrong? We should call it a day. But the door. The longer we stay, the higher our chances of getting caught. We'll continue tomorrow. Would you mind escorting Bunny out? Okay. Oh, little do they know that Buddy's already uh, taken to his holding cell. We find an exit for Sylvester and I return back to my room. There you are, Marion. Yes? You should check your belongings. A thief had snuck into your room. Oh no. Indeed, but we captured the scum. Jack will decide what to do with him. But forget about that for now. I need your help in the kitchen. I don't think I can refuse. Yeah. Goodbye, Bunny. I spend the rest of the day in the kitchen. I hope a bunny is okay. I don't get much sleep. If Bunny can't keep his mouth shut, we'll be in trouble. I need to tell Sylvester. After lunch, I tell Annette I'm going to take a small break. Then I go see if Sylvester is at the secret entrance. 
It doesn't seem he's here. Huh. Sylvester is peeking through a hole in the ceiling. How did he get up there? Marion, come here. How? Climb out of the window and use the vines to get to the roof. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. I'm sure you'll die from the fall. Ah. Uh, ah, that wasn't how I meant to say that. I meant if you do fall, you won't be injured or paralyzed for life. You'll have a swift death. <laughs> we'll go straight to becoming a ghost. I don't know how that's supposed to reassure me. Ah, please just get up here. Someone will notice you talking to the walls. Yeah. And now we're right up here. Here we... We need this to be lore accurate. Here we are. This is totally the roof that we're standing upon. I climb up to the roof and manage not to die in the process. I couldn't find Bunny anywhere. Did he get caught? Yes, he's being held in the dungeon. Ah. <sighs> I suppose we'll just leave him there for now. Anyhow, now that Bunny has been caught, I'll assume the security has been tightened. Sneaking about won't get us anywhere but in jail. What should we do? I'm sorry, I'll have to think about it. It's fine, take your time. I'm sure you'll figure something out. That sounds like something Bunny would say. I... no it doesn't. I'm glad you have faith in me, but please don't stop using your own judgment. I won't. Good to hear it. We are in this together. Yeah. Thank you for your time, I'll see you soon. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just be like, alright, see you soon. Yes, take care, Marion. You too. Sylvester climbs down to the garden and I return inside. Now, now we actually have to put ourselves back normally. I return back to work and the cook gives me an earful for taking such a long break. I'm done with work for today. It's late enough that everyone is probably sleeping. I think I'll check on Bunny. Oh crap, it's Jack. Ah, uh, ha, ha, hello. Nice to see you're still a useless sack of shit. Right, good evening, Jack. And what exactly is so good about it? Nothing, I guess. Nothing. The evening is just like you. Nothing good about it. Goddamn, Jack is aggro too in this playthrough. I'm pretty sure there's nothing to be gained from this conversation. Just what is his deal? Uh, I guess I could ask. Um, Jack? What? Aside from my general awfulness, what's wrong? I can't believe that stupid rabbit got in my castle. What am I paying Goliathos for? What am I paying you for? Um, the rabbit climbed up using the vines. If only I had servants capable of managing the garden. I don't think it's a problem with the garden. I know it isn't, but it's basically the same job. Just keep these things in check. I'll do it. Ha. Yes, I'll leave it to you, Marion. Understood. Ha. <sighs> Thank you. Huh? Maybe my staff isn't all entirely bad. Just most of it. Off he goes. That gave me a scare. I thought my investigation was done for. I will not be visiting Bunny after all. Yeah, we're just like, alright, bye. Who knows if Jack decides to come back. Today is a pretty one. I wish I could go visit the marketplace. But Jack's outburst still makes me too wary to go. I know I haven't been a very good employee, but he hasn't been a very good employer either. The guard is chopping off the vines with all his might. He must have gotten told off too. Hi there, uh, guard. I really, really should remember his name by now, but... He hello, m moron. Huh? Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I, I am so, so, so sorry. I, I meant, uh, Morgan. That's still not my name, but I'll take it over, moron. It's okay, don't worry about it. Do you need some help with the vines? That'd be, uh, that that would be, I, I'd like that. Sure. Why is a guard doing thass anyway? Er, thass? Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a spelling error. I, I guess, uh, uh, I meant, uh, this. This is going wonderfully. Don't you have more, um, guardly things to do? What, what do you mean? You know, like, um, guarding, or, um... Guarding. Oh, yeah, the two things that guards do, guard and guard. Magnificent. We are social butterflies. I want to be blown away by the wind and never come back. It, well, it's okay. We're, we're short-staffed and, and, well, the rabbit snuck in using the vines. Oh, that's right. This is preemptive guarding. Yes, yes, it's that. I get it. Good thinking. Yes, thank you. I still wouldn't call this a conversation, or at least not a very good one, but I'm pleased with our progress. Maybe one day we'll call each other by our real names, too. One day. We make sure we cut off the biggest vines. It only hits me later, I'm probably making things a lot harder for Sylvester. Ah, <sighs> I haven't heard anything from him. I hope he'll show up soon. Oh, oh, he may not ever show up again. The days fly by as I help cook and clean. I'm making sure no one sees me taking any extra breaks. But I do take them because screw this place. Good work again today, you're a big help. I wish there were more toys like you here. 
She has no idea what she just wished for. It's tough running this place understaffed. Uh, 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 what is it, Goliathos? So that's his name. Yes, I mean, no, um. We, we're getting a new employee. Oh, finally. For what? Who is it? Jack hired himself a right-hand man. But Jack is the right-hand man. Er, uh, I I'm just here to let you know. Well, isn't this just great? One more mouth to manage. And here I got my hopes up. His name is Sylvester Sound. He'll he'll walk or work here starting tomorrow. Sylvester? That is all. Uh, so, uh, good day. Okay, so on this route we get Sylvester as a fellow employee. That's cool. The guard stumbles away. That means Jack wants us to make everything look all nice and neat for this new guy. <laughs> Why not? We'll be like, did he do that for me too? Did he do that for me too? Ha 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 ha, goodness no. Oh, a right-hand man is someone important who helps him manage everything. Jack likely wants to impress someone he's chosen for such a high position. Honestly, what is Jack thinking? He is not the king. How dare he act like he is. I listen to her rant about the missing king the rest of the day while we work. She doesn't notice I take some crackers for Bunny. Oh, let's go. We're gonna feed our favorite bunny boy. Hi there. Oh my goodness, it's food. Let's go. Bunny eats with all the elegance of a starving toy. Thanks, dear. They aren't giving me anything but water. Really? I should have brought you actual food then. I won't deny that, but I'm grateful for what I got. It was just crackers, though. Just crackers? Someone didn't grow up hungry. I'll get you something better the next chance I get. Thank you, love. Anyway, what's Sylvester's last name? Sound? Yeah, it's Sound. You know, he's like, uh, an aristocrat or something. Huh, I had no idea. No wonder he's such a, uh, um... I shouldn't say anything, Bunny is his friend, I might upset him. Such an uppity, boring, pretentious little prick, right? Never mind. Uh, something like that. Anyway, I heard Sylvester is starting as Jack's right-hand man. Ooh, that traitor. I sincerely doubt that's what's going on. How'd he get such a high position then, huh? I have no idea. You really think he turned on us? No. It's Sylv, he's all, you know, stuck up and way too caught up in his own principles, you know. How should I know? I've just met him recently. Ah ha ha, that's right, you don't know him, do you? I just said I didn't. Oh yeah, sorry, my brain's all fuzzy. I really should get you some food. And then we steal a whole Thanksgiving feast. <laughs> but we didn't have that, so I steal some of today's leftovers for Bunny. It's cold, but he doesn't mind. If I fall asleep now, I can still get four hours of sleep. Marion, it is our Sylvester. Why on earth are you still awake? Um, well, um, I was just, uh, um, I've clearly been blessed with the ability to talk my way out of any situation. Well, no matter. In fact, that's great. Meet my new right-hand man. My name is Sylvester Sound. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you. Sylvester will be helping me out from now on. You make sure he knows what's what around here. Understood. Also, fix him a room somewhere while you're at it. Now, it's midnight. Indeed it is. Don't you think Sylvester wants to go to bed soon? Right. I'll leave you to it. My apologies, Marion. I'm showing up out of the blue like this. No worries. Me and Jack were drinking some wine to celebrate our partnership. He didn't notice the time. I told you, don't worry about it. I wasn't even sleeping or anything. I suppose. Come on, let's find you a room. Oh, it's the room that Jack was, uh, sulking in before. Would this be fine? Absolutely. Sylvester helps me clean the room up, even though he wouldn't have to. I guess he wants to go to sleep before dawn. So, if you don't mind me asking... Yes? How did you manage to get hired so fast into such a position? It seems Jack really enjoys the music from my orchestra. I've occasionally chatted with him after a show. You're famous, I had no idea. It dawns on me how little I know of Sylvester in general, even though we're on such a secret mission together. <laughs> I'm not. Our music is. Anyhow, Jack was at our concert the other day, so I simply invited him for a drink. I told him it'd be nice to play in the castle one day. Somehow that conversation went from me being invited to play to me becoming his right-hand man. You must have a way with words. I believe I just happened to be on his good side by default. Not to mention my family's high status. Right, that helped. Although there are some bad apples on our family tree. Huh, I hope you'll find some excuse to visit me after your shift. Or before, if that's better. I'll try. Good, I'll see you tomorrow, Marion. And then we're gonna be like, all right, good night, I'm out of here, it's sleepy time. I can still sleep a few precious hours. I'm telling you, if we're gonna hire more people, it should be servants. I still can't believe. Good morning. G good morning, Jack. And Sylvester, pleased to make your acquaintance. Huh? The pleasure is all mine. Please call me darling. I, I mean Annette. As you wish, Annette darling. 
Hee 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 hee. Now go back to work. I'm just here to show Sylvester around. Can I come? Why would you want to? It's just that you never really showed me around. Did I not? If that's the case, I don't see why not. Fine, since Sylvester says so. How obedient. We really did get the, uh, the shit end of it when we first started here. Jack takes us around various areas. I remember me and Sylvester walking here earlier, but we both act like we've never seen any of it before. Jack rambles on and on about everything. It feels like forever and there is not a hint of the king anywhere. Ta-da! Here we are! This place, we couldn't get past the door earlier. Now this last room, I'm second guessing whether to show you or not. This is it. All the answers should be behind this door. Probably. We can come back another time, should you want to think about it some more. What is he saying? We have to get in there. Tired of me, are you? Not at all. It's been the most interesting tour. It has. Well, alright, I'll show you, but only because I'm nice. Yeah, yeah, stroke your ego later, just to open the door. And since you're going to be my right-hand man, you need to know. Open the door, damn you. And Marion. Huh? What? Yes? Don't you have work to do? No. Right, of course. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to see. I quickly glance at Sylvester, but he's not looking my way. Is he ignoring me? Yeah, it's called playing along, Marion. Whatever is in that room must be important, no doubts about it. I'm sure Sylvester will tell me all about it later. Won't he? I sure hope so. I go back to the kitchen like a good worker. Annette is cooking happily. That Sylvester is such a good man. And we're gonna question her. Is he? Is he? Yes, yes, it's been so long since I've seen someone so proper. I don't think he was all that proper. Ha ha ha, nonsense. She sure switched tone fast. Whatever happened to not wanting another useless mouth to feed? I hope Sylvester makes a proper king out of Jack. You mean until the real king returns? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, it's just been so long already. Do you believe the king will be back? I don't know, I hope he will. Yes, me too. Well, in either case, with Mr. Sound here, things are looking up. The smell of burnt food fills the room. Ah, I forgot about that. No, and I was supposed to impress Sylvester with my cooking too. Tonight's dinner is extremely well done. Sylvester told me to try and visit him at night, so that's what we'll do. Good evening, Marion. Glad you made it here. Oh yeah, so we're gonna go and just ask him straight up. So what was in the room? The one with a lot of locks on it. In that room. Dun dun dun. Sylvester, for now, let me just say the king is alive. What? That's great. Yes, it is good news. You don't look too happy. I'm sorry. I need to ask Jack some more questions before I can fully explain the situation. Well, okay. I wish he'd just come out and say what was inside. Thank you for visiting me. That's what we agreed on. Still, it means a lot to me that you follow through with our plans. No problem. You are a good doll. Thanks, you're a good music box, if you say so. Ah, <sighs> despite his calm and polite appearance, I get the feeling Sylvester is sad. Oh, we're gonna pry about it. Sylvester? Yes? Are you okay? I am fine, thank you for asking. How about you, Marion? How are you? Hmm, small talk it is then. I get the hint he's not going to tell me anything. I'm good, just a bit tired. Yes, it is rather late. Let's continue our chat another time. Yeah, we say our good nights and I leave. I couldn't sleep, I kept wondering about the king. If he is alive, why isn't he here? Is he in that room? Why was Sylvester being so secretive about it? We were supposed to be in this together. Ah, <sighs> it's not like I'm mad at him, it's just... Uh, I wish he'd tell me what he found out about the king. Okay, okay, enough, I'm just going around in circles. It's too early to go to work, but it'd be a good chance to visit Bunny. Yep, that makes sense. Bunny is still sleeping. I guess we'll wake him up. Who cares, he can sleep all day then. Bunny! What? What's happening? Oh, it's just you. Uh, what is it, dear? Sylvester has started working here now. Ugh. What? Silve this and silve that. Thanks for the status update, but do you have anything on the king? Well, Sylvester found out something, but he won't tell me yet. Suspicious. Usually he's pretty willing to exchange information. Has he visited you? Nope. Why? Oh, just wondering. Maybe Sylvester doesn't want Bunny to know anything. Maybe he's worried Bunny would break his cover by accident or something. I hope that's not the reason he doesn't share information with me. Say, is that food for me? Oh yeah, here you go. Thank you. And then we feed him until he enlarges. But I can't focus at all. I just want to know what's in the room. Oh no. What's wrong? I messed up again. Huh? I tried this recipe I thought Sylvester would like. But it was my first time and this looks so bad. Oh, I'm sure it tastes just fine. I'm sure it tastes fine. Well sure, but it won't look good. Sylvester won't be impressed. Then he won't take me as his wife. You're aiming for that? 
A way to a man's heart is through his stomach. But since the dinner failed, I'll cook up something better. Are you sure you have the time? Well, it'll be a little late, but it'll be worth it. Okay, I'll let everyone know. Okay, but don't tell them it's my fault. Okay, okay. Excuse me. Jack and Sylvester are sitting around a pile of papers and books. It looks like an important strategy meeting, only it's taking place on the floor. What is it? Dinner will be late, so here's some tea and biscuits. Thank you kindly. Yeah, yeah, if that was everything. I'm thrown out already, come on. Yes, goodbye. I close the door and make sure I walk down a few steps extra loud. Then I carefully climb back up as quietly as I can. Try as I might, I can't really hear a thing through the door. Let us visit... Ah. Why did he open the door? They're supposed to be drinking tea. Ah. Hmm. What's wrong? Actually, I forgot to mention one more thing. Sylvester closes the door before Jack sees me. I leave at once. Oh no, we've been caught. Sylvester looked pretty angry. I was just trying to learn. He isn't telling me everything. I'm here on my own mission. Of course I won't just sit and wait. Exactly. How could he do this to us? I decide not to visit Sylvester tonight. He's probably angry at me. Uh, er, come in. I'd even hear the knock there. Good evening, Marion. Ah, it doesn't look good at all. He's angry. He's totally angry. Good evening. Ha, huh. hmm. Do you not trust me? No. I mean, no, that's not it. I do. I do trust you. Please understand this will take time. I will let you know everything when the time is right. Yes. Please do not try to advance the situation on your own. I should just wait? So I should just wait here with my thumb up my ass? Please, for goodness sake. How many times must I ask you to be civil? Who cares? Bunny's in prison and I spend all day making pastries. How is this getting me any closer to finding the king? Please don't raise your voice. It is late. Ha. Huh. Ah. I understand. Hmm? I am sorry. This must be frustrating for you. If you're still willing to work with me, I would like to tell you something. Of course. What is it? You have to promise me not to act on your own anymore. And you have to promise you'll trust my way of handling things. I promise. Hmm. I found the king. And as I've said earlier, he is alive. Where is he? Is he okay? Marion? Er, right. No, go on. The king is kept asleep. I stop myself from launching another set of questions. He is... <sighs> the majesty is ill. Jack believes he'll recover with some rest. What kind of illness is it? An illness of the mind. Or perhaps in his heart. What kind of vague bullshit... I'm sorry, do you not want to hear about it after all? Sorry, I do. It's just that if he's ill, shouldn't we all know about it? The best doctor should come help his majesty. Yes, that is the thing, Marion. We can't tell the other toys. That is because the vines... Mmm... Huh. Ah, I'm sorry, Marion. Can I tell you this some other time? Well, I'd like you to tell me now. I know. Please be patient. I'm still processing the information myself. I want to collect my thoughts and present them to you clearly. Like I give a crap if his presentation is clear. I just want to know what's going on. But if I push it now, he might not tell me anything anymore. All right, I understand. Really? Yeah, you can tell me later. It's almost morning already anyway. Thank you, Marion. I'm being a little unreasonable, so your patience is truly appreciated. It's fine, just get your thoughts in order. I can wait another day, or two, or ten, or a lifetime, why not? Thank you. Until tomorrow, good night. There he goes. And I'm left wondering what I just heard. The king is sick, but it's a secret. What, is it something contagious? And the vines are related? So they are poisonous. Or is the king turning into a jungle, or what? Why didn't he just tell me? Ugh, I can't sleep at all. Ah, <sighs> I was sent to buy some spices. They are usually delivered into the castle in big packages. But the cook has been messing around with her cooking too much lately. Why is Jack still playing the king? I don't even care. The king is missing anymore. I just want someone proper in charge. Uh, I'm too embarrassed of what the other countries must think of us. Our king is a bloody clown. If it were up to me, we'd vote on a new king. You don't vote for kings, you bunch of morons. Do these people do anything but complain? Excuse me, sir. What a pretty woman. Oh, is that the the lady that Silva was talking about? Hell yeah, we finally get to meet her and she has a sword? What the heck? Yes, you look like a brave young man who knows left from right. I don't, but okay. Ah, uh, what do you want? You should join... No. Dude, at least let me finish. I'm looking for toys to join our cause. We're going to march into the castle and demand the truth about our missing king. Good luck. Maybe we can join... We can join, uh, Mrs. Sylve. Good luck. Won't you join? I can see you're troubled too, you know. 
I have to go. I understand. Go ahead and sleep on it. I'll wait. Yeah, don't hold your breath. It's not that I disagree with her, but I believe me and Sylph can figure out a better solution. At least when Sylph finally fills me in on the situation. But hey, when you change your mind, you'll find me right here. It would have been funny if they actually made note of her, uh, like, beatboxing voice. Because he was like, oh yeah, her voice box is messed up, so like, who knows, maybe she should have been like, But hey, when you change your mind, you'll find me right here. No, we won't, we won't do that. I buy my spices and get back to the castle. I've had enough of the townsfolk for today. Hi there. Hello, Mr. Marionette. Right, hello, Mr. Sound. Tonight is supposedly a wonderfully clear sky. Take a look if you're having trouble sleeping. Sounds good. Yes, have a nice day. It's almost like a secret date when he puts it that way. Oh, it's gonna be. I bring the spices to the kitchen and work for the rest of the day. The sky isn't especially clear or wonderful, but here I am anyway. Thank you for coming. Of course. I've collected my thoughts. I'm willing to tell you what I know. However, once you learn the truth, I doubt you can rest easy afterwards. I've never been good at sleeping anyway. Are you sure? It's quite sad what's going on. Ah, uh, just spit it out. Very well. I can't discuss this here, nor in the castle. Please follow me. We walk across town. We enter a fancy looking building. Please make yourself at home. This is your house? Yes. I'm so jealous. This place is so nice. Thank you. Let's continue our conversation. Oh yeah, that. I will cut to the chase. His majesty wants to destroy the kingdom. What? He wants to- what? <laughs> I have the same race as Marin, huh? The vines around the castle come from his heart. It is the king reaching out to corrupt the land. Huh. At first when he said his majesty, I was thinking of Jack. <laughs> it says we keep uh, making him king it every route, but uh, this makes more sense. The whole castle has been warped because his majesty's desire to ruin it all. Oh my god! Jack has the king under a sleeping spell. Should the king awaken, there will be no stopping him. Should the king awaken, there would be no stopping him. But he's the king, why would he want to ruin his own land? Let me put it this way. He has come to hate this world so much, he'd rather see it all disappear. Has he gone crazy? I suppose. He's dangerous, why isn't he locked up? You could say him being forced to sleep is keeping him locked up, but I don't think the spell can keep him asleep forever. As you've seen, the vines keep on growing. Ah, uh, what should we do? That is what me and Jack are trying to figure out. Hmm, this is too sudden. Do you wish I hadn't told you? No, I mean, we wanted to know. I don't care that it's scary, I wanted to know what's going on. And I don't regret finding that out, thank you for telling me. I see. This goes without saying, but I'll say it just in case. Do not tell anyone what I just told you, especially Bunny. Yeah. This information must not leak. The toys would rush into the wrong decisions. Yeah. Why did you tell me, huh? Perhaps I needed to get it off my chest. Jack, too, must have felt that way and hired me. It is a heavy secret to hold. I see. I am sorry to have burdened you with it. Hmm. This is a lot to take in, isn't it? Yeah, I just need some time to wrap my head around it. I will listen if you need me to. Thanks. Huh. Are we going to die? Everyone dies, Marion. No, I mean like tomorrow, day after tomorrow. If the king awakens, yes. I don't believe there's anything that can be done. Can't we kill the king? Jack doesn't want that. Then we're gonna say who cares what Jack wants. Who cares what Jack wants? Jack is the temporary king, his word is the law. He is also very loyal to the king, which is not surprising since he has been with the king since they were children. Jack should be loyal to his country. If the current king is a menace, then off with his head. And Jack's head too if he gets in the way. Oh. <laughs> Marion, why are you like this in every ending that's not bunnies? Don't you agree? It is not my place to say anything. I don't believe we can arrive at any sort of solution tonight. But rest assured, I'm doing my best trying to find a way out of this mess. Yeah, will you be alright? Alrighty, and with Sylv asking us if we are okay, we're about halfway through Sylvester's uh, bad ending here, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Thank you so much to all the party members that came out to join us today, and thank you to all the new ones that have been joining us recently. My name is Haven, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye